good morning, and thank you from all of our Learn and Serve partners for taking the time to listen and to pray for the unprecedented challenges that they're facing during this pandemic. While these are challenging times for all of us, as we know, many of our partners and the communities that they work with are bearing a disproportionate amount of the burden. So your prayers and support is especially meaningful during this time. In fact, I'm happy to bring you today exciting and wonderful news from Urban Mosaic, who we heard from last week. Their country director, Oscar Garcia, who had been hospitalized with COVID-19, we're happy to share, has been released from the hospital. In fact, he's one of only two patients in his state to have been released from the hospital. So we give thanks to God for Oscar's recovery and ask for continued prayers along his journey. So today, with this blessing in mind, we turn to Fairhaven School for special needs in Alexandria, Egypt. Fairhaven is a special school which is breaking down the barriers and changing the nature of disability services in Egypt. The situation in Egypt prior to the pandemic was already a troubled one for many of the students and families served by Fairhaven School. Prejudice and unjust fears against those with intellectual and developmental disabilities in Egypt remain staggering. And many families with children and adults with such disabilities fear for their safety outside of the home. For those of us who may be living with such disabilities or our family or friends of someone who is, we can imagine the heartbreak this brings because we know that people with such disabilities are capable of achieving amazing things and making a positive impact in our communities if they are given the resources and the chance to do so. That's why Fairhaven is so revolutionary. They offer one of the few safe havens for children and adults to escape the prejudice and stigma which is ever present outside the school walls. At Fairhaven, students are uplifted, loved, and cherished for all their unique and special gifts. However, as you will soon hear from Dr. Ashra, the school director, Fairhaven is closed as a result of the pandemic. While clearly this is the wisest choice, the loss of a safe and nurturing space for students is devastating on many levels, not only in their social emotional well-being, but also in the development setbacks that they're likely to see as a result of the school closure. As you listen, consider how you could be in prayer for or support not only the work of Fairhaven School, but also disability rights more broadly in Egypt and here at home. Good evening. I'm talking to you tonight from Alexandria, Egypt. At present time, the school is closed and the children are trapped in their home. Because of this, all of these changes most of, the, most of them became tense and frustrated. Although we are doing our best to keep in touch with them and their families, trying to provide them with activities, educational and entertaining tools, to fill the free time in their lives, but we still feel that their behavior is frequently affected in some form of hyperactivity or even aggressiveness. Every day we pray for the safety to prevail in the world, and we pray that our Lord may remove the epidemic from all countries soon. Please, please, we ask you to pray for our students with intellectual disabilities, especially those with low abilities, because they are not aware of the situation nor the concept of the epidemic and how to catch a disease from something unseen. So kindly we ask you to pray for them and for their families, that God give them patience and strength. Thank you.